What's up, everybody? We are back again with another podcast, and today we are going to be discussing the recent leaks that came on Reddit. Uh, There's quite a few things that we'd like to talk about. Um, There's a number of leaks that have recently showed up, some of which uh, have kind of been debunked, and some of them seem pretty realistic. Like, they're so well-written and so, so, like, researched that they're kind of believable and if they are like legit then it's not looking too good for the future of battlefront um that's an understatement yeah that that's basically if these leaks are true then we probably aren't going to get almost any content at all for the remainder of this game um i mean yeah so what do you think cookie I think we have been trying to figure out for a very long time what exactly is the motivations going on behind the scenes. What is going on? What is going wrong? Why are we so... What, just why? We, we've been trying to figure this out for like six plus months. Like, what is going on with this game? And we've... And a long time ago, I'd say probably in January or February, we started to think, you know, maybe they've given up. <laughs> Maybe they're just throwing this game away because it didn't have a good release. And then we kind of put that to bed because they had been, you know, they were working on this, working on that. So it didn't look like they'd completely given up on the game like a Mass Effect Andromeda sort of situation. And it kind of threw us off. But. Well, that's because the progression system made it seem like they still wanted to. Like this game had a prayer. Everything was like. Just wait till the progression system. Wait till the progression system. And then the progression system came out. And then it was, wait until the next quarter. Wait until the next quarter. Then the next quarter came out. And then it was, wait even longer. And wait even longer. So, yeah, they made I it think seem it's like to reintroduce hope. that again. <laughs> reintroduce yeah. the idea that they've given up on this game. Again, I don't understand why even i guess trying to churn out every last bit of money they can get out of this game i guess but there's so little to be made in the idea of cosmetic microtransactions they probably would have been better off just scrapping it i mean i I don't think any any amount of money or manpower that have been put into this game to get to the cosmetic microtransactions aren't going to be worth it um so i still don't really understand what their motivations are but a few of the Reddit posts at least seem to imply that EA is insanely disconnected, which is not a surprise, but maybe even more disconnected than we had thought. Like, they don't seem yeah, for, to understand what video games are. For those of you that <laughs> don't know what these other world. Reddit posts were about, a basic summary was these people say that they're either, like, these are either, like, old devs that were, like, no longer work with uh, DICE anymore, or they somehow got this information from like an email or something. I don't know, but the gist of it is yeah. that usually they say it's from somebody involved with the project. Like they yeah. got the message from somebody. So at least they're all claimed to be people that have either be- are a part of it right now or have been a part of the whole process. Mm-hmm. And the gist was that EA just doesn't listen to social media at all, which explains a lot because like they had that tweet few months back about the broken heavy and like they they tweet out stuff all the time that doesn't make sense and they don't ever respond to anyone and like basically they just don't ever look at social media which is where everybody tells them what's wrong with their game everyone complains everybody tells them you should do this this and this and they just don't care and the these leaks also said that they have all this content like they have grievous and obi-wan and they have all this stuff and it would have come out a lot sooner if it wasn't for this uh, microtransaction crap that they had to deal with. So they have all this content, and it's like kind of in limbo, and it like is already been worked on, but they kind of put it on the back burner because they don't have the funds to do it. And mm-hmm. it's like they have all this extra content kind of almost ready to get released, but we're never going to see it, is what these leaks are pretty much confirming yeah, more more or less which kind of implies that De- dennis wasn't necessarily lying in february when he kept talking about working on that working on that they kind of are but they can't finish them i guess or there's or if they are finished they, they can't release them there, there seems mm-hmm. to be 
EA has just come like like I can't put into words exactly how much they fucked this game. Yeah. <laughs> there's there's not a way to put we had kind of speculated. We've been asking ourselves a question forever. You know, who's to blame? EA, Disney, Dice. You know, who's really who's the most to blame? We'd kind of come to the conclusion EA would make the most sense, and it looks like we were right. <laughs> EA <laughs> seems to be the yeah. most. Everything's pointing the most EA guilty here. It's of all of Disney them. Not Disney or Dice. It's it's EA. It sounds like to me Disney is just completely removed from it, and it Disney. The only thing they're responsible for is not paying enough attention. The only time Disney seemed to pay any attention was the microtransaction crisis, uh, where Disney stepped down like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Even we're hearing about this. It's such a big deal. So Disney, Disney's got a little blame. I mean, they should be paying more attention to this. And also, there has been a couple spots in the leaks where it says, you know, they have to, they have to run everything by Disney uh, before they can get anything done, which we've heard that before. Uh, but that seems to be also included in these leaks, so that's bad too, but it, it, it seems like DICE is not really to blame at all, or very little. It mm -hmm. seems like they're either completely underfunded or just are completely um, handcuffed to the situation. Like there, There's nothing they can do. There's nowhere they can go. They're doing all they can, and it's, it's really depressing and sad from, from their mm -hmm. perspective. I... I could, I could, I mean, imagining that this stuff is true, of course, but imagining this stuff is true, it, it's awful. It's, I it's mean, horrendous. I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that at least most of this is true because, I mean, yeah. everything adds up perfectly. Like, why would we go this long without getting any content? And then the big season two still doesn't have any content in it. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't add up. And I hate sense. to say, like, it doesn't, that we told yeah. you so, but we kind of told you so. Uh, extent, like, we talk, yeah. we even called it out in our podcast before Season 2 came out. We were talking about what Season 2 needed to do to, like, save this game. And then we even joked around, and I was like, what if we don't get any heroes at all, Cookie? And what if we just get skins? <laughs> and we were like, wow, uh, we think that... That could actually happen, or we'll get something similar to that, and that's what happened. Yeah, and that was worst case scenario. I mean, the whole thing with these three companies, because we'd seen Dice make great games before. We've seen Dice make a lot of things in this game that were really great. I mean, we both admitted how good the game was at launch, obviously with its issues like microtransactions and stuff. But the base game was really good. So it didn't make much sense why DICE would want to kill this game off. But EA, they're the kind of incompetent company that would do something this stupid. So all the stuff that's coming out, perfectly reasonable to me. Because that sounds mm -hmm. exactly like something incredibly stupid that EA would do. And this corporation is such a load of shit. I, I can't they're pretty like, bad. They are horrendous. It's not like EA's never made or never had good games under their... I mean, EA and DICE just made Battlefield 1, which is a terrific game. People are still playing it and still really excited for the next Battlefield because of how well done the game is. But well, EA just... They just can't help themselves sometimes. They have I've to be completely before crap. That EA is run by people that don't play video games. And yeah. it's so obvious. They're run by, like, that. businessmen. And they, they're trying to sell us... A video game but they don't know what they're doing <laughs> like if they mm -hmm. actually had people that understood the community that they were selling it to then they would do a lot better it's what they should do is really just pathetic. let dice do their thing dice seems to have some idea of what the community wants <laughs> yeah least, just give them the funding to EA. do it and the, it, they make their money back yeah, the problem with it at launch was not anything Dice did. It was the microtransaction breakdown <laughs> that EA did. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like the game itself that's not anything to blame on Dice's part anyway. And we kind of knew that coming in. I mean, obviously, we've given Dice a hard time over, over the months. And y you never know exactly how much of that is actually accurate that we've seen from the leaks. But assuming it is, I feel bad because I don't, <laughs> you know, I think we targeted the wrong. Um, sometimes the wrong people. EA is just... They, they just never fail to disappoint. 
game after game after game they do more greedy and shitty things and this is this is the pinnacle because this is more than just pissing off a general gaming community you're also pissing off a uh, the Star Wars community this is a very very dedicated fan base maybe the most dedicated of any like sci-fi fantasy fan base that's out there and it, you, you just can't do this stuff mm -hmm. um, so I pray to God they take a massive massive hit from this but I don't know if they really will because uh, this is no, the first time I mean, they've already been made their dirty and shitty money they're, they're rebound from the stock drop they've, they've already got that back and they're making more money so this is just yeah. a small little dent and they have that micro transaction loot box controversy going on in Belgium or whatever right now and they've already confirmed that they're not giving up on loot boxes anyway so yeah they're not learning their lesson and um, like these leaks also said that they're working on like Geonosis or something. So I mean, yeah, like take that's it with a grain the big of salt. Star Wars map they want to have. Yeah. yeah, it would just be one map. It would be Geonosis. We might get a hero or two if we're lucky. So I mean, that's this isn't confirmed, but this is just what the leak's saying. And but they basically said, if we want any hope of getting future content, then these skins have to sell well. And Basically, these microtransactions have to prove that DICE can make money off this game to get more funding. Well, the problem with that is they're not giving us content to back up the skins. No one's going to buy these skins when they're s they release them like once a month and they only give them a few at a time. Like, we're going to get these two yeah. skins in this, in this month. Everybody's just going to... They already, one, you can get them in-game credits. You don't have to spend real money. Two, why are people going to buy these skins if you can't enjoy new content with these skins? It's just the same maps that we've had for, it's going to be seven months. Seven ma months of the same maps over and over and over and over. But now you get to play as a different skin for Leia. And, uh, I mean, if you don't even like Leia or Lando, you don't, that doesn't even affect you. So, it's such a stupid uh, yeah. way of doing things. I mean, like, this mm -hmm. is not how you do cosmetic microtransactions in video games. I mean, we've no. seen it done very, very well in other games. The reason people keep buying Fortnite microtransactions is because the game itself is something they want to keep coming back to. So as long as they keep coming back to the game, hey, might as well look different than everybody else. No one gives a shit if you they look keep, different than anyone else if you don't want to play the game. They keep adding <laughs> so, content to Fortnite. Like weapons. Yeah, they keep and... they keep advancing the game. Uh, yeah, like, the, even Grand they Theft Auto, have... they gave you like they gave you the game first, and then you bought the random stuff to look different in the game, and they kept adding content. It doesn't mm -hmm. work just by just giving the skins. The skins are in addition to whatever you put into the game, and when you're not yeah. putting anything into the game, like you're not these get game modes out of that. aren't content. It's just it's just a game mode that is on the They're same damn content. maps that that we're still playing on. It's just the same shit over and over and over and over. Just a different game mode on the same damn maps. It's not enough. Like, you have These to have... little updates. Not like, the big thing. Like I said in my tweet, if they want to make money off these microtransactions, they have to overwhelm us with skins. These little alien skins they released are shit. That's not going to make them money. They need to give us, like, all the clone trooper skins, like, five or six legendaries, five or six epics, like, 30 different skins at once. Because people are going to be so overwhelmed, they're not going to have enough credits to spend on these skins. They're going to be like, holy shit, this skin, this skin, this skin's all really cool, but I ran out of credits. What am I going to do? I could just spend $20, then I can buy three or four of these skins. But if they give us, like, four skins here, two skins this month, wait another month, get two more skins, then people are just going to skip the ones they don't want, save their credits for like three or four weeks at a time, and then just buy the skins as they get released. And then they're not going to make any money. Just, or they'll just wait for the next challenge where they randomly give the skin away for free for no apparent yeah. reason, <laughs> yeah. which no you one could, understood. Why yeah. in God's name they did that from any perspective? But the whole, like... But even if they did overwhelm with microtransaction, like, that's one way to do it. Like, you release so many skins, there's no way a person could buy them all. And they're all good skins that they would want. That's one way. But 
there's still no content to play with the freaking skins. Mm -hmm. You still don't have anywhere to play with these skins. Oh, no. So you still yeah, don't like really they care. give us skins and content at the same time. Like, they have to oh, take... I'll never be able to do it. <laughs> they have to overwhelm us with content. Get everybody excited again. Get some players back into the game that gave up. Get some new players into the game. Like, holy crap, there's all these new cool skins. There's a new map. There's some new heroes. And then they can get an influx of money from these microtransactions, and then they can start to make new content, and they can get into this live service thing. But they're trying to just drag it on for as long as possible, trinkling in content every month. Here's here's uh, two skins, wait another month, and we'll give you three skins, wait another month, and it's not going to work. They're not going to make any money that way. And then the game's so... going to just shrivel up and die. Well, like, there's also a little bit of something in people, at least it is with me, and I think a lot of people are smart enough to realize what's going on when they put money, extra money into the game. And a lot of people are, will do that if they think the game cares about that, or the game developers give a shit about them. Like, one reason, mm -hmm. like, I bought something in Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite a ton, but I'm like, you know what? I actually kind of appreciate what they're doing with this game, so I'll put a little bit of money in. It's, a, it's, it's like, it's almost like a... It's it's like a donation of sorts to some people, just to like say, hey, look, I respect that you guys are doing something. I don't mind putting in a little bit of money for that. Yeah. You want to talk I about mean, a game dice, where no one's gonna do that? That's battle. Yeah, and dice don't deserve this money. Like if they had these no. cool skins, I like they could have cool a uh, whole influx of content all at once, and I would still be skeptical about giving them money because they haven't really earned it. It took them and up more people to this who played the game. Yeah. What about those I, people that they're trying to bring back? I really they're love the put game. Money into Otherwise, this? I wouldn't play the damn thing. Uh, the content, I mean, the gameplay is fun. It just is neglected. Painfully it, neglected. It's like you and, really expect people to give you money for this shit? That's just yeah, insulting. Like, some people are dumb enough to do it, but a lot of people are going to be like, look, we're not stupid. We know what you're doing here. We're not going to give you money for what you've done to this game. It's it's semi-insulting to an extent. And especially if they don't give you content even close to worthy of money anyway. So oh, it, yeah. it's, it's really sad because the future of this game in general is basically... I think I think the best we can hope for is that they somehow do make a good amount of money on these microtransactions, allow DICE to do some things, and we might get some semblance of a Clone Wars season, but even if that happens, it sounds like the best we can hope for is one map, maybe two heroes, and a bunch of clone skins, which sounds good now, but that, that could be four or five months away. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. If they make that enough That doesn't money, sound so good if you have to wait that long. Then and maybe four or five months money. away from now, we'll get a mediocre map. Mediocre Clone Wars content. Like, there's still people that tweet me every day, shitting on me, like, Swarty, you're so negative. They're gonna have tons of Clone Wars content come October. Like, how do these people... Like, how are they still holding on to hope? If, we have, if we're not getting anything for Season 2 this first month, what makes them think we're going to get a shit ton of Clone Wars content in the fall? If people are looking for hope, that's not where you're going to find it. Your hope has to be in something bigger. It has to be in that somehow Disney starts to pay attention. I don't know why Disney is completely not paying attention because they're losing a shit ton of money right now with EA because EA is not producing enough Star Wars games and they're not making enough money on the Star Wars games they are producing. So the hope is that Disney takes a look at this and says, oh, we need to give this to somebody else. <laughs> That's the hope. You can't hope that EA is going to suddenly become a good company. That's not going to happen unless all of the management quits tomorrow and new management replaces them. You can't hope that DICE is going to be able to make content without any real support, which is at least mm. what these leaks are saying. You have to hope it's on Disney. <laughs> DICE can't do anything about it. EA will not do anything about it, so your only hope is that Disney does something about it. I think eventually but they kind of have to. The bare it just doesn't minimum make any sense. That this season needed was like two heroes, a map, 
uh, some blasters, some star cards, some reinforcements, and that's probably what this season needed, and some skins. And, and that would have been a disappointment. A couple. And that would have been a disappointment. Yes. So it's what makes you great think now? <laughs> in oct- like August or September, October, whenever or November, whenever this Clone War season comes, why would we get like that? It's going to be underwhelming. We're not. It's not like we're going to come out with four heroes for Clone War season, and like, like why? What? It's going to take them what over a year to come out with Clone Wars content. Close to a year. At best. Yeah. Or are they going to come That's out at horrible. E3 or EA Play and be like, "All right, guys, Clone Wars," and like they have to have something significant for it to be worth it. I'm talking like two huge maps, four heroes. Like they would have to have something crazy. All the skins come out at once. Star cards, reinforcements, droidicas, and I mean that's just not realistic. It's and you can call call me negative for being realistic, but every time I've been realistic, I've been close to right so far. No, the only problem is we haven't been negative enough so far. We've had too much hope. Yeah, every time we've been semi-positive. They somehow still find a way to let us down. <laughs> well, every time we've been negative, we've gotten our we've gotten let down. We were very yeah. negative about this season, and we still got less than we expected. So yeah, I, I'm not. I don't feel the slightest bit bad for being negative about this stuff. I'm trying to get my hopes so freaking low <laughs> that I can avoid some disappointment. I I don't even know if we're going to get that Clone Wars season. They may kill mm-hmm. this game before the summer's over. But <laughs> it just, just doesn't. Give up on it. it doesn't feel the same it's playing really. this game anymore. Like when they had that double XP weekend, I was hyped. I played that all weekend because I was like, "Yes, season two is coming out. I'm gonna save my credits. I'm gonna get some sense. skins. I'm gonna play some new DLC. It's been six months. Now that I, after these leaks and after the first half of that season, and then it, it like as soon as that season was released, all these leaks started to come out." from these devs and everything like it's weird how all these these leaks come out they wait six months for these leaks to come out that's kind of weird too like why they wait till after season two for these leaks to come out but then they all are coming out at the same time but a lot of times i guess that does happen with these kind of things like when one person reveals it like all right i guess i feel safe in doing the same that kind of happens i guess but it is kind of weird I'll admit that. <laughs> but, like, after hearing all this stuff and knowing that we're not going to get squat from Season 2, um, I mean, I guess they could surprise us in June, but it's not very likely. Why would they give us half crap for the first part of the season and then overwhelm us with the good stuff in the second part? Uh, I, don't, I don't see it happening. So I don't think there's any chance in hell. I think we're gonna get a lot no. of skins. Like I tried to play this yesterday, and I just there's no drive to play it. I already have everything upgraded. I'm not gonna play it just to grind credits for skins because there's no content that's gonna back the skins up. So it's not very fun for me anymore, which is kind of sad. I didn't think it was that fun for you before. <laughs> Oh, That's no, at least for a decent chunk of time. I've had fun because playing they this game for had, forever. Well, they've had Except so many for, broken... Yeah, there's so many bugs. patches along the way. Yeah, like the so heavy sentry too, was a problem, and then the the Palpatine. explosive shot was a problem. Palpatine's been a problem for forever. Those things made it not fun, but in general, I've had a lot of fun playing this game. I've been playing it for six months. Uh, almost every day. So you can't say I don't like this game. I, it's just... And, and we defended it at, at launch. A lot of people don't realize that. But everybody was like, Oh my god, this game sucks. These microtransactions are stupid. And we defended the crap out of it. And then it just... Slowly yeah. over time, we were like, Hmm, something's not right. And it's just gone all downhill since December. Yeah, and it's and like I said, I really don't think there's any hope for this game because it's owned by EA, and I'm I don't I don't think it's got any prayer as long as EA's in control. 
Until Disney puts somebody else in control, Star Wars video games are going to be crap. Yeah. I'm not or excited make for a, Star Wars. Whatever their new game is, I don't. I'm not they excited. They make the Battlefront because... three and learn from their lesson from from Battlefront two. Oh yeah, two. they're gonna learn from their lesson again. Well, they would have EA's to like. <laughs> yeah, I. Here's how I'm EA angry. can learn from their lesson: Don't touch the next game. Pretend to <laughs> pretend your name's not on it. Just let anyone else. Just put EA on the on the on the disc on the cover, and that's as far as you guys go. And the, the, for the rest of the part, EA doesn't even know the game exists. That sounds good. Just just make sure you fund it though. Make sure you fund it, and make sure someone can make the game. Outside of that, leave your leave your hands out of it. It's just that company. Ah, I hate them with a passion. I I ugh. They've ruined so many games. <laughs> Yeah, no, they have. Ruined Star Wars. I really loved Mass Effect too, and they ruined that too. But yeah, they've that's gonna do it for this Sims podcast, too. guys. And uh, sports. What do you guys think of the leaks? <laughs> uh, what do you guys think <laughs> of the solo season and the lack of content that we got? And what do you guys think about the future? Is the game still fun after you guys know that we're not gonna get any content? Are you guys gonna continue to play? Are you gonna hold on to hope? Are you? Hoping for, uh, I guess, a Clone War season to come later down the road. Like, let's, let's know in the comments down below. <laughs> Check out our second channel, Foul Play. And I guess that's going to do it for us. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Will you join me? Accept your fate. I grow impatient.